going to go over the late pick four sequence at Running Aces for Tuesday night. The sequence has a $3,000 guaranteed pool. Begins in race six. In the first leg, I'm going three deep. The four horses, Hanks, Colt, 45. Five to one in the morning line was off three weeks before the last start in an odd race. As a 95 to one shot, who's number five in this race, jammed up the outer flow. Warren steers here. That should make a difference. Looking for improvement at a square price and should get a smooth trip. The seven, Heaven's going to rock. Four to one, has been a bridesmaid in the last three races, but always tries hard, even with outside draws. May have met a beatable field, and there isn't much gate speed to the inside. The eight, Fox Valley sidecars, nine to one. Raced well last time at 47 to one from post nine to finish third. That was a big mile, considering it was off three weeks before the last start. We'll look for a price as Rick McGee should have the pedal down, could work a smoother trip, and not have to race wide this time. Race seven, going three deep, the three horse, Game of change, 10 to 1 in the program. We'll swing for a price in the third start at Aces and the third start off the bench. Shows good speed in both Aces races, should be tighter, and does know how to win. The 7, Max Marvel, 3 to 1, just missed from the 8 hole, continues to race well at this class and has been consistent. Went off as a chuck last time and could offer a better price tonight. The 8 is caliber, 5 to 1 in the morning line, gets a driver change to Luke Plano, and my guess is that pilot will blast out and land in a close-up seat. We'll use it this price and try to beat the nine, American Dreamer, the five to two morning line chalk. Race eight, gonna use three horses. The two, Trey Rockett is eight to one. This five-year-old drops to a more competitive level and driver James Kennedy is making an appearance at Aces tonight. Kennedy is a solid pilot and look for and will look for a price in a race without a standout. The five, shotgun in the hot sun is four to one. Comes right back after a decent effort and was off 19 days between starts. Needs a smooth trip and should get one with this post draw. Might be able to post the first Aces win in eight tries. The 10, just be talking. 10 to one price shot. Eight year old doesn't race as often these days, but this is a spot to get sucked around. The rail horse has some gate speed and can follow that one when wings fold. Should offer a big price and does best racing near the top of the stack. In the money leg race nine, I'm gonna use the three horse, Rock and Science, six to one. This was a private purchase by the driver, Jacob Cuddy, and showed some life last time in the first start for the new connections. Went the second half at 56 and three, right back in at the same class, and could be closer to the top, turning for the wire. The six horse, Chase the Gold is three to one, went off at a nine to five chalk, and caught a bad trip in the last start when dropped to this level. Comes back in sequence this time, Rick McGee will steer, and he knows this five-year-old, so we'll look for better. The seven, Al Disco's Johnny's five to one, comes off a no move mile and last, and now Kevin Wallace gets the assignment and will look for an aggressive try. This is another that comes back in sequence, does have gate speed to get a good early seat. The 50 cent ticket reads, four, seven, eight, with three, seven, eight, with two, five, 10, with three, six, seven, for $40 and 50 cents, good luck.